Good night guys. Um today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up an Apple Time Capsule or Airport Extreme or even Airport Express probably with Verizon Fios router. All right. So the first thing is just plug it in to the power and the lights come on in the back and it speeds up it shows the yellow light. And I'll show this until it's set up or all the cables are unplugged in the back. Um, what this indicates is it's not plugged in or set up or something's wrong. If it's flashing and it's orange, I think it means like a hard drive failure, but I'm not sure. And a uh, solid green means good to go. Most of this video will be done in the airport utility, but I just want to show you guys where to plug in the cables before anything goes wrong. Alright, I can feel the hard drive spinning up now. Um, for all intensive purposes, um, I'm not near my file cable box, I mean a router, but I have a cable coming from there. See, it's blinking now. I'm sorry, so the blinking light doesn't mean a hard drive failure, it just means it's not set up right. So we're going to plug it in into the WAN port, which is the one with the, the circle, not the LAN ports, which is the one with the two triangles, okay? All right, let's see if it changes color. This router is already set up, so it'll turn, it's green, see? Okay, the rest of this video will be done in um, in Mac OS in the airport utility. All right, thank you. All right, so guys, now we're on um, Mac OS in the airport utility. Um, so as you could see, my airport utility is here, internet is connected, okay. When you do this for the first time, everything will be orange. That's a given. But this, the steps I showed you before is, is still the same. So now what you want to go do is, um, you'll have to connect to it. It will be here and it will show under airport utility or time capsule or whatever you bought. And it should be the same for any of the current devices, the AC devices. So um, here's what you got to do. You got to click on it and then you're going to click on edit. Then you're gonna go to network, and this one, when you first when you first set it up, it'll be set to D DHCP and NAT or DHCP only. I can't remember which one it was, but it'll be one of those. What you're gonna do is you're gonna select off, and then you're gonna click update, and then the router is gonna reboot, and then you should be fine. So that's practically how it is um, set up. A time capsule or airport extreme to um, your Verizon router. Um, thank you guys for watching. And um, next week I'll probably probably be buying an AC router from Apple. Um, I'll do a review and I'll tell you guys how that works. All right, thank you.